Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and I'm so excited to show you how to colorize your subject's clothing to match the background. So to start with, I wanna go ahead and make this color in our subject shirt match the background color just a little bit better. So we've got a couple of different ways to do this. We're gonna start with a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's go up here to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to hue slash saturation. Now, this is gonna allow me to actually target this blue color. Here where it says master, go ahead and click on blues, and then you can click on your eyedropper, and I can actually eyedrop this color so I can change that blue. Now, if I change my hue slider, you're gonna see that the reds in my skin don't change at all, but the background color is changing a little bit because it's similar to the blue color. That's not really a big deal. You can just use a layer mask to define where you want this to be visible. So let's go ahead and get it about the right uh, place where we want it. I'm gonna click on my layer mask and hit Controller Command I. That's gonna invert my layer mask. And then I can simply paint white on my layer mask exactly where I want. And it's just gonna change the blues to that color. Here we go. And if you paint a little bit too much, like I did on the background here, you can see just a little bit too much. All you have to do is hit the X key on your keyboard. That's gonna switch to black and you can just paint this effect invisible right there. So it's a really easy way to define where is visible and where is not visible. And as you can see, it leaves the red alone because we targeted the blues to start with. So check that out. We just wanna make sure, obviously, we get the back side of her shirt too, or it doesn't look real. There we go. Let's go back to our tool here. We'll go to our cyans and then I can continue to adjust them until they really show exactly like how we want. And already you can see our subject starting to match the background. It looks like the clothing was picked out just for this wall. Now, the next thing we wanna change are the subject's socks. So we can see this yellow isn't really anywhere else in this image. And I wanna see maybe about changing it to this like pink color or this color in the background. So I'm gonna start off by creating a new layer and selecting this yellow. We can do that by going up to select and then down here to color range. Now, when you're in your color range, you have an eyedropper. So go ahead and click on your eyedropper, and then I'm gonna make sure I click on the socks. So let's go ahead and click on these socks. There we go. And anything that is similar gets selected. In this case, the lighter areas are selected more and the darker areas don't get selected. Now, that's actually pretty good. So let's hit okay. So the sock areas are selected right now. Now with my layer, what I'm gonna do is hit B for the brush tool, and we're just gonna sample this color. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this color from the background. Now, we're just gonna simply paint right over top of these socks. As you can see, because I have a selection active, I don't even have to be very particular or uh, <laughs> stay in the lines very well. All I have to do is simply paint where these socks are selected. All right, so literally just painting that blue color right over top of the socks and we're good to go. Let's hit Control or Command D to deselect. So it doesn't look that realistic now because this is just a normal blend mode. So literally I just took that color and painted it over the socks. But the next thing we're gonna do is change the blend mode of this layer to color, and it's gonna make it the same color as the background. So to do this, you can simply click right here on your blending modes from normal, go all the way down to the very, very bottom and go to color. And we can see now it looks a lot more realistic. It's actually just the same color. Now, if you paint a little bit too much, not a big deal. Go ahead and click on your layer mask icon. There we go. And then you can simply paint black on your layer mask where you don't want this to show up. In this case, it was over top of our subject's legs. Just a little bit. There we go. We're just painting black on the layer mask. And that's just gonna make sure everything blends in. If you paint over too much and want it to be visible, just paint white on the layer mask. There we go. Nice and close. And we can see now the subject's socks match that background color as well. So as you can see, changing some colors on your subject's clothing can help integrate them into the background even more. You can download this sample image and PSD on flurn.com for free. Just click on the link right down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.